Hello, this is Deb Warren of Okanagan Sea SETI, and you are listening to my quick and dirty meditation for ET contact. We will take 15 minutes or so, go up off the planet, meet ETs, and invite them back to this location on the surface of the Earth. This meditation has been requested by Jillian Davies because she would like to learn how to do ET contact. Imagine, if you are alone, imagine that you are currently sitting with a group of people and they are all sitting in a circle. The first step is to learn how to ground your physical body in meditation. And so you will take some deep breaths at your own pace, inhaling and exhaling slowly. Do that now. If you are learning how to do ET contact, then repeat after me. At your heart chakra, see a golden ball of energy getting bigger and brighter. Now see this golden ball of energy start to move left to right around the circle, going through the heart chakra of everyone present. It moves left to right, counterclockwise, because that is the direction that ET ships spin in. The balls of golden light start to move faster, now forming a ring of golden energy that connects all of us. And now the golden ring of energy spins even faster, forming a golden disk of energy. And that golden disk starts to rise, carrying our, gold, our light bodies upward. We start to rise above the houses in the neighborhood we're looking down on the roofs of buildings. We may be able to see the lights of cities nearby. And as we rise, those lights get smaller and smaller. Here in the Okanagan, we have hills on either side of our valley. And we can see that we are eventually rising so high that we can see the tops of the hills. And now we may be able to see the lights of distant cities. And we continue to rise. The lights of the cities get smaller and smaller. As we enter the cloud layer, and our, the visibility becomes completely blocked. Now we are above the clouds. And we are getting higher and higher. As we get higher, the sky above us becomes black. And the stars become shinier and more clear as we leave the atmosphere. 
continuing to rise. We may be able to look in the west and see the sun shining on the Pacific Ocean. If we look to the east, we may see the earth turning into darkness. And now we are high in orbit above the Earth, geostationary orbit. The disk continues to spin, but it is now stopped moving, and it is in one place. I would like you now to look down at Earth, and I want you to think of the most powerful place on Earth or the most beautiful place. It may be a place that you have wanted to go to. It may have been a place that you've already been to. Maybe you've only heard about it. Allow yourself now to feel the love that you have for that place on earth. We humans believe that if there are ET species who know about us, there is only a few species who do. Nothing could be further from the truth. Many planets have life. Very few planets have the diversity of life that Earth has. Earth is considered to be a womb planet. Many, many ET species have DNA in their systems that originated on this planet for the first time. And the ETs love Earth. Allow yourself now to feel the love that the ETs feel for Earth. All living beings on this planet can evolve into becoming an interstellar species. Humans are only the most recent candidate to become ready to graduate to becoming an interstellar species. Several species before us have already evolved on this planet and graduated. Earth is renowned throughout this galaxy and others. It is considered to be a jewel in the diadem of creation. We also believe that if there are ET species who know about us, that there are only a few ET species who do. I want you now to turn your attention to the black space that surrounds Earth. In fact, the space that surrounds Earth is chock full of ET ships. It's like the parking lot at Disneyland. As I say this, you should start to see ET ships popping into view. Make it your intent to be invited on board one of those ships. Ask for permission to go on board. They will signal you in some way if the invitation is given. They will flash a light, or maybe you will feel a heart connection, or perhaps you will hear a high-pitched tone. If the signal comes, simply accept it, and you will beam on board that ship. 
and there will be beings there ready to interact with you. If you do not receive the invitation, or you do not see the ships, then simply continue to look at Earth and allow yourself to feel the love that you have for Earth. I will give you a moment to have this experience and I will call you back to the golden disc after that time. I will be silent now for a moment. Wherever you are, make it your intent to return back to the golden disk that is spinning in space. If you are interacting with extraterrestrials, then let them feel your gratitude and joy at having this experience. Let them feel how delighted you are that you were able to meet them. Let them know that you can connect your mind to the navigation system on their ship and that they are invited to come back to our location on the surface and interact with us. Say your goodbyes and return to the golden disk. Everyone has returned. So now we will begin our descent. We are looking down, straight down, and we are going to begin our descent, going down. We can see ourselves moving towards the clouds. The Pacific Ocean in the west disappears on the horizon. Similarly, Earth turning into darkness becomes less easier to see. And now we enter the clouds. And now we are below the clouds. And we can see the lights of the small cities, and the small lights of the cities. And we can see the tops of the hills as we enter the valley. Gradually, the street lights of the neighborhoods become more visible and we can make out the rooftops of the houses. And we can see our little group sitting in a circle as our golden disc heads straight towards that group. And now the golden disc descends very slowly towards that group returning our light bodies to our physical bodies. And as the golden disc touches the ground, it gently fades away. When you are ready, take a deep breath, open your eyes, and move your body to indicate that you have returned. Think about whether or not you want to share your experience with others. Do not feel obligated to do so.
This is the end of meditation. Thank you.